You're not Monica. Oh, no, I'm Rachel, Rachel Zane. How did you know that? I'm Donna. I know everything. Everything? You started three months ago. You have a peach yogurt every morning. You got a cute pair of suede pumps I totally plan on stealing. And your father's Robert Zane, a name partner at Rand, Calder, and Zane. <sighs> and apparently you don't like people knowing who your dad is. Well, they just, they treat you differently. Your secret's safe with me. No, it doesn't really matter. I won't be here that long. Is it the cafeteria? Because it is way better than it used to be. Nope. I live for foie gras Fridays. They don't have that. Okay. You're weird. We'll be friends. Anyway, I should go. I'm just gonna leave this stuff here for Monica. She should be back pretty soon. She just has Tuesday Pilates at Chelsea Pier. Every Tuesday? Now, I thought you knew everything. I do. What are you so bouncy about? You are going to be so happy that I listened to your intercom. Who is it? Room service. What are you doing here? Delivering champagne. I see you can afford it since the money you've been stealing from our clients hasn't been going to your wife's cancer treatments. Hey, Monica, how's it going? Harvey. Daniel and I need a minute. Letter of resignation. You're gonna sign it, and then name Jessica as your successor. I don't think so. Unflinching in the face of defeat. It's not defeat. You come after me for embezzlement, every Pearson Hardman client you've got is gone. Which is why Jessica won't let me do that. Then why are you here? Waiting for your wife. What are you talking about? She's invited to a fundraiser. She'll be at the front desk in three minutes. You don't sign, they'll send her up to this room. You do sign, they'll send her to another room. You dragged a woman racked with cancer here to blackmail me. You think it's me she's going to have issue with? You goddamn bastard. Says the man cheating on his dying wife. You don't know anything. I do. I've seen you with her, and I know you love her. And this has nothing to do with that. I also know that you don't want the rest of Alicia's life spent picturing this. Now, if she wasn't sick, she could probably get over it. She's not getting any better, Daniel. You have two minutes. It's your call. There's something I think you should know. Please. Mike Ross had lunch with Monica Eaton today. I saw him hand her a filing. And why do you think this concerns me? I just think that their meeting on the eve of the firm's vote suggests that Jessica is making a move. You've been good to me since you've been back. She hasn't. Do what you will. <laughs> 